Hi guys, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Um, I'm really enjoying this last season of Narcos Mexico. Um, uh, Carlo, the show is like a new beast without Gallardo. What is the most important thing for you to keep in mind when breaking the story for this new season? Well, I knew that we wanted to sort of expand the scope of the season and the storytelling. In the 90s, um, the drug business expands and it sort of becomes more um, of a facet in public life. And so because of that, and to try to stay authentic to that history, I wanted to tell a story that had more characters and more voices sort of to expand the canvas um, as the drug trade itself was also expanding its influence on society as a whole. So that was sort of the idea, and um, it was a uh, challenge, but it was really exciting. Yeah. Uh, Jose Maria, this is the first time we really get to see Amado kind of at the top of his game. Mm -hmm. How different is your approach to him as a leader of, of a cartel as opposed to the ones we've seen in the past, like Escobar um, Guayardo? Yeah, well, it's uh, in, in, um, this season uh, focuses more on the uh, on uh, on the inner uh, Amado, no, the, mm -hmm. the questions that he's asking himself about life, um, <clears throat> about where he wants to go, and and if it's all worth it, no. So I think it was a, a really interesting take on it. Uh, last season it was about strategy. Uh, this season is more of uh, you know trying to answer these like existential questions for him. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, one thing I'm really loving about the season is the focus on more ladies. I love Andrea, getting to see a different side of Nadina. Uh, what story avenues does that open up for you, Carlo? Well, I mean, the, the notion of, we, I'd wanted to tell a story about a journalist for some time because um, the role of journalists um, in chronicling uh, corruption and drug trade is really important um, and brave. And so I wanted to tell the story of a journalist and um, I also thought that having a Mexican character and specifically a Mexican woman do the voiceover for the first time would be interesting um, and compelling and again speak to that sort of expanded canvas that we want mm -hmm. to utilize this season. And also, um, I mean, Anadina and that character is one that I'm in that performance by Myra is so brilliant. I'm always drawn to Anadina's story as somebody who's part of a family um, and who, because she was born a woman, isn't really in a position of leadership naturally, but she clearly is so qualified and is built for that. So seeing uh, that story of somebody who is thrust into that position of having to protect their family and guide them through this process, and then also navigate, you know, family relationships and the fact that she's a woman fulfilling this sort of unconventional role is just really uh, interesting to me and, and was something that we were all excited about. Yeah, it's been fascinating to watch. Um, Jose Maria, you mentioned a little bit about the internal struggle that Amado goes through this season. Can you talk about getting to see his more vulnerable side and maybe some of his family scenes? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's quite interesting because we're not used to seeing uh, these types of, of, of characters uh, go inside them, no? Uh, they're usually more violent um, and they just, they just want to get the business done. So... So I think it's a, it's a very interesting take, uh, and and it, it was easier for me as a um, as an actor because I'm also going through those uh, mm -hmm. questions in my life. Right. So it was a, it was a great um, you know a, a meeting point uh, when when trying to to uh, express or trying to 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 play this character. Definitely, um, it was it was a good opportunity. Uh, well, I love I have loved watching it so far, and I know this is the final season of Narcos Mexico. But are there any hopes or plans for other countries or locations that you'd want to do for Narcos, Carlo? Uh, well, there's no there are no plans in, mm -hmm. in the works currently. I mean, I think that's always a possibility, but as of now, there isn't anything. We just really want to, um, and things are tricky. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, and we wanted to try to um, you know conclude this story in a way that felt emotionally real, didn't feel overly tidy or neat, because mm -hmm. obviously, you know, the tragedy of the drug right. trade continues. Um, so the challenge of trying to tell a story that felt emotionally valid and compelling and satisfying while not sort of, you know, um, you know, feeling overly tidy felt like that was challenge enough. And mm -hmm. in terms of what comes next, um, there's no immediate plans, but, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully, you know, uh, for better or for worse, these, the phenomenon that has created Narcos Mexico continues um, right. in the real world. So, so I suppose it's always a possibility. Well, I think that it has ended on a strong note. Thank you both so much. Uh, you're fabulous. Have a great day.
Thank, Thank you. you.